Hi, I'm Richard Mosdell. This is my daily karate vlog. I think it's number 48. And today I want to talk about does your karate have special effects? I'm not talking like light show and smoke show and stuff. I'm talking about something similar. Are you doing things in your karate that you don't need, that are unnecessary, that are trying to get you more attention from the referees, let's say if you're competing, or you're adding too many things to your karate um, that should really not be there for more effect or more, the idea of getting more power, more tension. So let's go through a couple things. Very easy one is, let's say I'm doing a move, like a knife hand block, right? And I go, and what I'm doing is I'm hitting myself for effect, okay? Watch my back leg for the kata anan, right? So kata anan is here, I come forward, see if you can see my special effect. I'm trying to stomp my back foot, it's really actually unnecessary, even though you see it at a really high level. In a nine, you're supposed to slide forward, slide forward. So again, oh, a really common uh, special effect is when people are sparring and they're going, hey, and they're hitting themselves instead of hitting the opponent, like this, to make a loud sound effect. It's actually really common in the karate leagues in Japan for kata athletes to do a move and to hit themselves on their way around. Um, we were practicing Nipai Po the other night, watching how an athlete comes from here and hit their body as they come out. They might do a technique where they're coming here, but hit their body as they're coming forward. So these are little special effects you don't need. Let's look at one you might do in class, you might see commonly, is someone who does a bounce off their back leg. Bounce and go forward. Bounce and go forward to try and generate power instead of getting the body to lean in. They might open up their foot, might lift their shoulders up. So these are little special effects that we don't need in our karate, we just try and take them out. Easiest way to take them out, relax. Make it more simple, make your arms loose. Really good way to make your arms loose is just swing your arms, and then feel your shoulders come down, then get into your position that you want to train from. So special effects. Um, Sorry, no light show today. We'll do that another time. Actually, we have something like that for you tomorrow. But thanks a lot for watching, and thanks a lot for the comments. I'm Richard Mosdell. Hope that helps. Talk to you later.